Welcome to Mongolia, where me and my friend Arnas over there bought three horses for an epic adventure. We find ourselves on this beautiful, beautiful mountain with 200 kilometers remaining for our final destination. So join me, because this is going to be epic. Let me introduce you to our horses. This is Crazy Six, because he has six embedded on his ass and also he's crazy because the first 30 seconds that I hopped on him we dropped oh, oh. this is Homer we named him after Homer because he was always farting and he was super super lazy you had to always encourage him to go on our third horse that is currently our pack horse is nameless maybe during the trip we'll find him a name so now our rest is finally over we're finishing a horse we're not finishing a horse but uh, I think that would be a nice content as well we're finishing a bottle and uh, we're continuing our ride down this mountain so uh, let's pack everything up and we're finally off the mountain we have a clearly visible road so this should be a piece of cake <laughs> yeah piece of cake as always we're gonna finish our day near some river and we're gonna have a nice 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 bathing oh my god I really need a bath sometimes here in Mongolia during such a trip you don't wash yourself for maybe three or four days so uh, you know the taste has marinated well we reached our camp right when the sun set down and now it's time for a shower it's really cold but i gotta do it monkey, monkey. whoa you got some company To it or yeah, the whole gang. Yeah, 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 we gotta protect the horses, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get it, go, puppy. puppy. Get it, go. Good morning, everyone. It's time to move on and it's time to saddle up our horses. I'm gonna show you how to properly saddle a horse. Not that I know how to do it really good, but uh, I learned something in 10 days. So first you put the cushioning part on the horse. <coughs> then you prepare the saddle. The way they showed us is you have to have the high part right here, your legs and this part, and this is what secures the saddle. So you prepare it like so, so it would be really easy to put it on the horse and everything would fall into their place. Then you come near the horse and hope he doesn't kick you. So then you get the pieces that secure the saddle. Then you have to pull it quite tightly. It's not... Yeah, this should be good. And you get the second piece that goes over the belly, like so. You also secure it quite tightly, so it doesn't fall off. And yeah, this fucking shit saddles. Blood. Mouthpiece. This is what controls the beast. Mine doesn't really like to put it on, so I try to open his fucking mouth. Go here, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And then you just tie it up. Bam, beam, and boom. It's really easy. Bam, beam, boom. Yeah, something like that. And this is how I properly secure a horse. Good job, buddy. An intense chase for a pack horse. <laughs> almost. He almost got it. It is easier to hop off the horse and stop, but uh, sometimes you just want to stay on the horse and get it, but yeah. Two. Here we go. <laughs> oh wow, he 
got it. He got it. Why are you like this, horse? Eh? Why are you like this? I hope my backpack wasn't at the bottom of that bag because if it is, it's not all wet, but it's fine. Today is a special day because we have reached a town where we're gonna stock up on the most important things that we need for a journey. And of course, that is beer. Beer and Snickers. <laughs> we are certified river crossing masters with the horses now. We have completed like, I don't know, 20, 30 river crossings. Some very deep, some not, but it's a nice skill to know. Sometimes the horses really don't want to go through the river and you have to encourage them because, uh, yeah, they're really scared, like, they're really, they're like, they're like scared the cats, you know? They're, they're, uh, they get scared pretty easily and if they don't see the bottom of the river, they are not gonna, they're not gonna cross it, so you have to really encourage them. But uh, when they get your confidence, more and more and more, it's, it gets easier to cross. And if you fail one time, their confidence goes down and then it gets harder to cross the river. So, a thin line, but uh, you have to work with the horse. Mine is now pretty confident with me because I have not yet failed him, so it's nice. Have you ever rolled up to a bank with a horse? Yeah, <laughs> only in Mongolia. It's time to park our horse. I think this is a pretty nice spot. Yeah, something like that. The horse is parked. Yeah. Another horse coming. This one has a little bit more horsepower. I have only one. <laughs> horse jokes. Are you a real cowboy? Bayanzur Market. Ah, только такие есть. Ah, такие. Ah, а больш большие нет. Guys, she speaks Russian. What a what a gem. What a fine. We also speak Russian. Well, I do. I do too. Yeah, Arnas does too. <laughs> Это камера. Да-да-да, мы снимаем видеоблог э, Монголию. У нас есть эти, э, посмотри там вот, посмотрите. О, да, три. Да-да-да, э, э, 400 километров идем. Да. Так только эти бутылочки есть, да? Да, это бутылочки. А, есть еще супермаркет какой-то здесь? А, есть. Откуда вы его выучили? Русский язык? Россия. А, Россия бывали? Россия три года. А, три года. А, работали там? Нет, учился. Учил? На цад 30 лет. Да, да, да. Я видел, что... Я сейчас деньги заберу. Хорошо? Сейчас, два минуты. Хорошо. Это вам, потому что первый человек, который может... О, не надо. Не, не, да, надо, надо, надо. Спасибо. Да, да, спасибо. До свидания. Счастливо. Good, good. Oh, there's another supermarket there. Maybe we can... Uh, you wanna horse it or do you wanna walk it? Horse it. <laughs> puppy. Refreshing on a market that has cold cold beer We are uh, Amusing for the locals everyone is looking at us <laughs> Probably the first time they have seen a couple of uh, White dudes just rolling in the town with some horses Cheers We found a perfect camping spot for today Look at this view our horses are eating There's also a cow hit there and then we have a really really nice place to refresh ourselves after a long long and hot day <sighs> fucking cold What is up guys? <laughs> today is day 8 of a ride across Mongolia and today we're going inside a girl. 
We're gonna eat some yak butter. We're gonna eat some milk. And maybe <laughs> because me and Arnus wants to. <laughs> it's moving. It's not moving. We don't care. Drying up some cheese. Oh, do you? yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh shit! It's it's mm. a big chunk. Let's try. Yak. Horse. Hmm. Hmm. More. Hmm. More. 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 Hmm. Mm. So it's uh, horse cheese. Yeah, horse cheese. <laughs> First time. <laughs> Here we go. He has goggles. Ah, oh, better. Mm -hmm. uh, they're better than mine. Huh? Let's try. What is he looking there? They're probably spotting their sheep down there, so they wouldn't run away hey. somewhere. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the ground. Uh, it's like the second. Uh, okay, it's like the second girl that we have uh, that doesn't have like a floor in it. And it just has a uh, earth ground. They uh, eat a lot of horse here. This one's different. Also, they have like some little shrine thingy going on here. I think they're Buddhists here, the country. Some family pictures. This, I think this is like a snack. Family. Mm. Family. Really hard to chew. <laughs> wow. oh, it's this like this a really, really good. It's snack thing. It's very good. Mm. Oh, this is different. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but, uh, mm. Looks like wow. chips. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, this one is the best. Mm -hmm. This is the freezer that they have. Look how they roll tobacco here. Hmm? Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, they have. Oh, but, uh, they have like a lot of tobacco, and this is the paper they roll in. Wow, such a big one. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Look, we have, we have Cheers. Milk. Cheers. <laughs> yep, milk. Mm. This one's the best. They have like really good food out here. Just like warm milk. Doesn't taste that different from cow milk. Pretty interesting vibe here, guys. <laughs> Smoking a homemade cigarette inside a Mongolian girl <laughs> couldn't be more out of a movie than this <laughs> so this is actually horse butter you can find this in every girl here in Mongolia this one is the precious one I think that we had yet mm. it's the best mm. it's so the best. creamy yeah it's the best mm. very nice target mm. too Mm. 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 For a takeaway. Wow. <laughs> what I cannot believe. It's so nice. We really needed some snacks for the yeah. trip, so I think this is gonna be perfect. Okay, we're not staying too long as we have a long way to go. But uh, we gave them uh, 50,000 tigrik, so <laughs> Arnas is not fitting for the door. <laughs> He's like half the height of the girl. Bye, la. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, but they were very welcoming. We have a long way to go, so we better get going. But yeah, it's pretty cool experience to check out these girls living out of the middle of nowhere. Pretty cool. As you can see, it's not all sun and rainbows here in Mongolia. We just exited the girls like 30 minutes ago. Now it started raining, and I didn't have my uh, warm gear out. So I started walking to heat up my body because when you're sitting on a horse it gets cold and especially we're doing a mountain crossing so wind is picking up we hoped to 
get rid of the rain after that mountain. We decided to make an emergency stop. As you can see, I'm completely drenched. We took the horses for now and put up my tent. And we're going inside for some heating. Ah, I love Mongolia, guys. Completely wet. I hope it stopped raining. And I hope my uh, other clothes didn't get wet. Because otherwise it will be shit. <laughs> Uh, really fucked. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> Mongolia. For such weather, we have the perfect remedy, and it's Ukrainian borscht. I don't know why it was in a random Mongolian village shop, but this is a really delicious Eastern European soup, and we're gonna mix it with some sheep meat. Yeah, so Ukrainian borscht usually. <laughs> It has like a pinkish um, uh, color, but um, for some reason this one is yellow. So this is the concoction that I came up with. The borscht, the meat and some ramen. We have the borscht ramen soup. <laughs> We're cooking some tea and we have another Mongolian NPC. Hey, here you go. Good. Good morning. As you can see, the nights here in Mongolia are very humid and also it's very cold. So always in the mornings, I can't feel my legs almost most of the time. And it's really cold during the night. During the past 10 days or nine that we have been here, I uh, haven't had a good night's sleep because I wake up like five times a night minimum. But I still wake up pretty rested. So that's pretty interesting feeling that you wake up five times but you're still pretty rested. So today we're making a long trip. We're making a long journey. We're gonna do 38 kilometers to reach our rest spot. It's gonna be a town of something. I'll leave it down there. But yeah, it's gonna be a long journey so we have to get good breakfast and some nice coffee. So we have problems straight from the morning. This pack horse has a wound on his leg and now when the bags are packed it's uh, scratching his wound always and he is kind of wobbling so we're gonna change the pack horse to be the homer and uh, Arna is gonna ride this one we'll see how it goes yeah at this moment he cannot be a pack horse because of this wound and uh, you can see he's been a pack horse for quite some time so we're not sure maybe we're packing him wrongly or something like that but yeah we'll see how it goes as a riding horse it seems that the horse is doing fine with Arnas on top of it so we're gonna swap it uh, a pretty common view here in Mongolia some horses running out of nowhere with a Mongol running behind them. There are kind of no wild horses here. Most of the horses belong to some nomad Mongol family. Finally, out there in the distance, you can see the city that we're trying so hard to reach because we really need that cold, cold beer. Once again, we pull up to a Mongolian village with three horses. I don't know what the locals are thinking, but we're searching for a market, and maybe a restaurant. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna eat our horses. <laughs>